part four. Welcome back to the reading of the Lorax. What do you think will happen next? When we last left the story, the Lorax and the Wensler were looking at the factory and all the trees being cut, and the brown barbaloots and the swanny swans had to leave. What will happen next, do you think? Eh, could be. Could be the future, yes. Sorry, I have to move the camera. What's more, snapped the Lax. His dander was up. Let me say a few words about gl gluppity gloop. <coughs> mm. Your machinery chugs on day and night, and without stop, making grippity glop, also schloppity schlop. And what do you do with this leftover goo? I'll show you, you dirty old Wensler man, you! You're glumping the blonde where the humming fish hummed. No more can they hum, for their gills are so gummed. So I'm sending off off, though their future is dreary. They'll walk on their fins and get woefully weary in search of some water that isn't so <coughs> smeary. Mm, I still have a cough. Who are they? Yeah, the humming fish. And then I got mad. I got terribly mad. I yelled at Lorx, Now listen here, Dad. All you do is yap, yap, and say bad, 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 bad. Well, I have my rights, sir, and I'm telling you, I intend to go on doing just what I do. And for your information, you Lorax, I'm figuring on biggering and biggering and biggering and biggering. Turning more truffle at trees into sneeds. Which everyone, everyone, including me, needs. Who is angry? Yes, Wensler. Maybe the Lorax, too. Uh oh, everybody's angry. And at that very moment, we heard a loud whack. From outside in the fields came a sickening, sickening smack of an axe on a tree. Then we heard the tree fall, the very last truffle tree of them all. Oh boy. No more trees, no more sneeds, no more work to be done. So in no time, my uncles and aunts and everyone all waved me goodbye. They jumped into their cars and drove away under the smoke-smuggered stars. Now all that was left, neath the bad-smelling sky, was my big empty factory, the Lorax and I. happened to the trees. Yes, they are gone. The Lorax said nothing, just gave me a glance, just gave me a very sad, sad, sad backward glance as he lifted himself by the seat of his pants and I'll never forget the grim look on his face when he hoisted himself and took leave of this place through a hole in the smog without leaving a trace. Who left? Yes, the Lorax. And all that the Lorax left here in this mess was a small pile of rocks with the one word, unless. Whatever that meant, well, I just couldn't guess. That was long, long, long ago, but each day since that day, I've sat here and worried and worried away. Through the years, while my buildings have fallen apart, I've wondered about it with all of my heart. Is the one so sad? But now, said the one, sir, now that you're here, the word of the Lorax seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not.
And so, catch, calls the Wensler. He lets something fall. It's a truffle, a seed. It's the last one of all. You're in charge of the last of the truffle trees. And the last of the truffle seeds. And truffle trees are what everyone needs. Plant a new truffle, treat it with care, give it clean water, and feed it fresh air. Grow a forest, protect it from axes, a hack. And then all the Lorax and all of his friends might come back. The end. Where did the Lorax go? What happened to the Wensler? Maybe we'll know in the future. I hope everyone's okay. Have a nice day. And go on your way. Yes. Bye-bye.